Christopher Norris here from mining.com.au. Joining me today is ABX Group Managing Director and CEO, Dr. Mark Cooksey. Mark, great to see you again. Likewise, Chris. Great to be here with you again. Mark, ABX installed and commissioned the new Alcor Bath Pilot Reactor in September. And you've already announced some positive results from three test runs. Talk me through the results. Yeah, the whole point of this reactor is to get as much of the fluorine out of the bath as we can. And we've shown in earlier small scale experiments, we can achieve the greater than 90% target, but only through a lot of manual intervention. And we want to do it in a single pass. And then the runs, the recent runs, uh, the powder that we've produced appears to be that, several kilos, and we just need assay results in early in the new year to confirm that. And Mark, last time we spoke, you said that aluminium fluoride is not something that many people know exists. Why is it so important? And what will your next processing stage look like to produce this high value chemical? Yeah, it's important, or in fact, critical, because you can't run an aluminium smelter without it. And Australia is a big producer of aluminium, and we rely totally on imports of aluminium fluoride. So the next steps is really the key thing is this a continuous pilot plant, which we have a design for. And this these recent runs on the bath of the, the batch reactor are helping us finalise the absolute final design for that pilot plant. And as you've just mentioned, aluminium fluoride is a fully imported product. What sort of opportunities does this present for ABX? Well, for ABX, it clearly is a good strategic opportunity. Uh, we've got customers you near know, the aluminium smelters in Australia are keen for local supply. To my mind, it's just as big an opportunity for Australia. I mean, what we have here is a major industry that we need. You know, we need aluminium for everyday life, and it's dependent on imports. It's a bit like we a couple of years ago when we ran out of AdBlue for diesel. You know, we're at risk of not being able to operate anything that used diesel. So this is a big opportunity for Australia, uh, not just ABX. And the assay results are due in 2024. What else has ABX got planned moving into next year? As I said, for Alcor, it's really about this continuous pilot plant. The focus is design, oh, construction and commissioning and running that. And then, of course, on rare earths, we're continuing to develop that project, more exploration and metallurgy work, really trying to flesh out our very exciting iron and clay rare earth project. That was Managing Director and CEO of ABX Group, Dr. Mark Cooksey. Mark, thanks very much for your time. Great, Chris. Thanks again.